Hey everyone, welcome back to another PTP Lending Portfolio update. Today I will walk you through the latest changes in my PTP Lending Portfolio over the past month. Think of this as a behind the scenes look at how a real PTP Lending Portfolio can perform under today's market conditions. Just a heads up, this is not investment advice. PTP lending is risky and if you ignore the red flags, you could be in for some losses. All right, so let's jump into it. Here's a look at how things shifted in October. You will notice that aside from Estate Guru and Crowdbeer, my investments grew across most platforms. Let's break it down by starting with Peerberry. I increased my investments here as the platform keeps delivering as expected. Right now, 92% of my loans are current with 7% laid and 1% in recovery. Most of my funds on Peerberry went into loans from Romania, Spain and Lithuania. Platform is steadily repaying war affected loans which has bumped up my returns. I decided to scale back a bit on Estate Guru. About 88% of my loans are in recovery and updates on debt collection timelines have been pretty sparse, which is frustrating. On Robocash, I managed to reinvest some idle cash, boosting my overall investment. Robocash has been steady for me since I joined in 2018. They just rolled out the one-click investment option, similar to the diversified automated strategy on Escated, which helps tackle cash drag by investing in whatever is available. Just keep in mind, the loan volume is not increasing here, so new investors might still struggle to invest larger amounts. Escated continues to run smoothly. While I did experience some cash drag during the month, as of this recording, all my funds are invested. My Escated portfolio is mainly invested in Avafin loans from Spain and the Czech Republic, with a small exposure to Utopia loans as well. Fintan continues to meet my expectations. The interest rates on their rental properties have dipped a bit, but they are still offering solid returns on a development loan in Mifkla with a 18-month term. On Crowdpeer, the loan availability dropped in the second half of the month, and since I'm only targeting B-risk projects, I did not have much to choose from, which led me to hold back on reinvesting some repayments. Crowdpeer has been performing well for me. I invested in 33 projects so far and 19 have been repaid already, 14 are funded and 3 are in recovery. On Monday, I'm focusing on long-term loans with interest rates between 11 and 12%. Unlike with consumer loans, this means fewer frequent repayments, which helps me avoid cash rack. Monday's 3% cashback campaign is still live, so if you're thinking of trying it, now it's a good time. Last month, I took advantage of Indemo's Fast Track program, which offers instant cashback. I basically doubled my portfolio here, earning a quick 17 euro in return, adding to my stake in discounted secure debts. Indemo is one of the best looking new platforms out there, and if you're interested, check out our full review on P2P Empire, where you will also find an exclusive interview with the founder and CEO. Now, here is where things stand. My portfolio reached 94,862 euro by the end of October, a 4.5% increase from September. This portfolio earned 849 euro in interest, a slight dip of 0.8% from last month. My funds are mostly spread across four platforms, Peerberry, Robocash, Escated and Fintown. Late loans have also decreased and defaults are down a bit too. On Peerberry, war affected loans dropped by 35%, leaving only 342 euro in Ukrainian loans. Here's a quick snapshot of the loan types. Most of my loans are commercial, short-term or mezzanine loans, focused on rental projects. My portfolio is geographically diverse with the highest exposure in Singapore, Spain and the Czech Republic. While most of my loans are unsecured, they are covered by buyback or group guarantees, the rest have mortgages or machinery as collateral. To wrap up, my average investment per loan increased to 147 euro with a weighted average interest rate of 11.20%. Altogether, I've spread my portfolio across 645 loans in 16 countries. If you want to get granular insights into my portfolio, it's available for members on buymeacoffee.com. You can access it using the link below. That's it for this month's update. If you found this helpful, hit the like button and subscribe so you do not miss out on the next one. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next update.